Hello again, I'm back. Today I'm looking at Simple Mind Pro. Now I've got the trial version, and if you've seen my videos before, I just like to get you up and running quickly so you can use it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Let's get stuck in. So when you open Simple Mind, I put a link on my YouTube channel so you can download the trial version as well. You're presented with this view, and this just gives you an idea of how to use it quickly. Now on the right, you have different templates you can tap on and change quickly. I like that actually because it just changes things to something that's suitable really fast for you to work with your mind map. Now what I like to tend to do with this top left hand corner go to file and select new mind map to start from scratch and then you can choose a mind map you want here. Now blank one here is pretty good I'm going to start with so we can start from the basis but you have got templates like mind map to start off with maybe you want to start playing around with timeline if you scroll down, you've got some really good templates. Week plan is really handy. If I come down here, bottom left here, you've got an option where you can add your own template as well. So you can save a template and use that constantly. Right, I'm going to start with a blank one and select OK. First thing it does, it makes you save it, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to call this, what should we do? Just a world. See what we get and select save. Now I'm ready to go with a blank canvas. So I've just got world in the middle, so I need to start building on that. So if I tap on world, we've got the three little dots here to start with. These are called element tools. I'm going to zoom in for you. We can link stuff, websites, attachments from your computer or Mac. You can add topic check boxes, tick off when you've got things done, set dates if you want as well. Branch borders, kind of a color around your ideas as you expand on them. So you keep focus on them. You can have different layouts look as well there if you wish. So all the options are really accessible there. Here you can add a text note as well. Now this is what I want to show you, plus, because we can start building on your ideas. Now I'm going to pop in there, let's pop in, I'm going to pop in there, bonjour. So we've got France to start off with. Now I'm looking at that map, it looks a bit dull, so I want to come to the right, remember the templates I showed you? Let's liven it up a bit, that's a bit better. Just drag down the position I want, hold the left button, you can drag them. Click back on world, I'm going to click the plus again, let's do another one. I'll drag this, I'm going to put it in there, I'm going to put it in there. Holland, as it's orange, drag that over there. And one more there, plus. Pop England in there. So there you go, started to populate and build some ideas visually. Now just to let you know, as it's visual map, in top right hand corner, we've got some options here. We go to outline, go to notes. You can even add icons. It could be really useful, actually, the icons. Definitely have a look at them. You can scroll down and see if there's any icons that fit your criteria there. So, yeah, I might have that as my number one idea. Track that up there, actually, to work with. So, definitely have a look at them as well. Come along to here. You've got style sheets, again, which I you saw at the beginning. We can change the style we want. We've got style option here to change things individually, because you might want something to stand out. So I might go yellow colour, no, let's make that a bluey colour, a great way to change things. Underneath as well, you've got stroke colour, you can change as well if you want, and underneath that again you've got your text colours as well to play with, and maybe I'm going to go for white there, that's better. And again you can change the thickness, minimum size, or even crop the image. So what I'm going to do quickly is, I'm going to open up the internet. Uh, let's find an image. I've got one here I got earlier. I like that one actually. Let's go with this one. I'm going to right click and copy image. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to paste it on world. So I'm going to ask you here full size, image, save in same directory, or include in a mind map. So I'm going to select save in same directory first. And there we go. And there it is attached. Now if you click the three little dots here, you've got an option here. Copy it again, you can cut it. Lock position, which is a really good option actually because you don't want it moving about. And you can also edit the image link and change image as well if you want. If I come back up here now where I've got the crop image to shape, I can then crop it to the shape I want. So again, something you might want to play with later on. Right, let's have a look at my map. So it's okay adding stuff visually. I need to start building on this. Now you've got another option here because you might be a bit of a brainstormer. Top left here, you can see this little option here, brainstorm. If you like the shortcuts, jot them down. They do save you time, don't they? Tap on that. See this box on the right? I can start brainstorming. So I might say, 
London, hit the enter key, and I might carry on a bit more. Paris, hit the enter key. Amsterdam, been there a few times, lovely city. So there you go, we've brainstormed some ideas down. So what you can then do is grab them and drag them on where you want. Excellent. I'll leave London on France because I want to change that later and play around with that. And again, we can carry on working on that. So select Paris. And we've got these little options again, three little dots. So I'll click three little dots again and I've got all the options to start linking information. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to link a web page. So I need to link a web page to this. So I'm going to go online. Let's find something to do with that. Do Wikipedia just as demonstrate. So I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to paste that into here. Make sure you copy over the assisting HTTPS. Otherwise, you have two and it won't work. You can test the link here. If you're happy with it, click OK. And now you can see the attachment. So if I tap on it. It'll bring that source up. Now what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to do another one. Paris again. Scroll down. Let's do the Paris tourist office. Copy the link again. Now if I want to expand on that. Good idea is again to create a sub branch off of there. And again, start building on your ideas. So if I tap on that, then the three little dots. I can then link it again, control V, and then click OK. So I'm building up my links and drag that where you want an information quickly and efficiently. So definitely have a little play with that. Also, I'm going to stick with the three little dots again. I've got an option here as well, tap on it. We can actually link a document to it. So again, what, remember what I told you? Let's click back on Paris, create a sub branch. And let's just say you've got a, a PowerPoint or a journal on your laptop or Mac that you want to attach. So again, three little dots. Use the link option and then you can link a document. You can also link another mind map to it, by the way, which is really handy when you're integrating different topics. So link a document and I'll grab. I'll just grab that PNG as a demonstration. And again, if I come over and tap on it, it will bring up that image for me. So it's not just about visual mapping, is it? It's about linear links and adding research information as well. Why me? Let's go to the three little dots again. We can set date. So if I tap that, you can choose a date, and that could be a set date, today's date, or another date that you need to put in there. I click OK and you see it puts the date in there for me. Also, three little dots. Show branch border, and you can see that border around there now, can't you? It adds a little border around there for you to work with. Also, you can change your style here if you want as well, for whatever one you want. And last of all, in that option, you can add cross-link. So you're kind of cross-referencing if you like. So it says at the top here, select the topic to cross-link. So I'll just select Amsterdam. So you can cross-link. And if you tap in the middle, you can add text, add a label for that as well. Excellent. And see how quick you can start building up your ideas and integrating them. I'm going to come down to Amsterdam and click the three little dots again. So we know we've got these options at the bottom and at the top of your standard options. Copy, cut, paste. You can add an image manually or you can add a label like we did before. But you've also got another good option I haven't shown you yet, which is the T edit note. Top right hand corner. Now you're going to be using this a lot. Let me drag that out a little bit. Drag that out a little bit. So you can start adding notes. So I've highlighted Amsterdam and I've added a note here. So what I could then do, I could type in some information or grab some stuff online that I want to work with. So I'll just grab anything as a demonstration again. That'll do. Control C and I'm going to paste that in to my note. So there's all the information. I can start working with that with your spelling options, bold, italicize, underline. And a little settings option here as well. You can choose your font size there. And alignment so you can play around with them it's not got massive options but remember this is my map to get your ideas down initially first so if i now close that click on amsterdam click the t got that note there permanently so another little great option to work with now i've got london here i don't want london there so i'm going to highlight it do control x which is cut click on england and click control v so you can quickly paste it and you see how it keeps the color 
this keeps your workflow flowing. Also, I found on this, it's great options by right clicking, gives you all the options you want. You can add a subtopic, you can add a topic, sibling, and you can add loads of options including images, labels, cross links, and even group boulders. Come down to edit, you've got loads of options in there. Your standard options in there, but I do like the brainstorm there to pick up quickly. And even search your mind map. So if I click that, I can search for specific information within my mind map and it highlights it, takes me straight to it. Tap off it, which is another great option. So that's in your edit. Topics as well, so you can link your topics like I showed you. Add images again. Let's have a look at topic checkbox, shall we? Topic checkbox. Got loads of options here. So this is a great option actually because if you're doing a a project or planning maybe a trip even you can choose the progress bar so England I've only added London at the moment so I could say that's about 20% done and then I can start working off them right click and again I can go to topic topic check boxes and say right I'm getting on with that quite well it's 50% so if you've got an assignment or dissertation it's a great way to organize it all last of all on the right click we've got styles you can create your own styles which is really good now top left hand corner quickly you've got to create a new mind map there click on the drop down arrow on the right these are the maps you've already done or started you can save your map or export it so for export you might go to outline view or even print it and here is your favorites option to add to favorites so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go here i'm going to select come down you can even export to calendar but i'm going to export outline and I'm going to save it to my download folder just call it world outline options <clears throat> so you can choose what size you want it at the bottom you've got outline options so you might hierarchy outline topics with notes you might want for example you can play around with that then change what you want here even show check boxes if you want and click OK and select save now I'll go to my download folder And now I have it in linear format for a visual map. But again, it's up to you how you want to set that up and how you want that structured within a, a linear format as well. Now, if you want it in Word, say you export it in PDF, no problem. Look. Blank document. File. Open. I'm going to find that PDF, which is in my downloads. Open it up. I've now got it in a Word document to work with so I can edit it and do what I want with it. So there you go. There's a quick overview of using there's a quick overview of using Simple Mind. There's a lot more to it than that, but you're up and running. Thanks for watching.